Barigalust, Imanune Tigran Bane, Aizor, Jerkumem, Haikakan Jerk, Lika Atsahi Het. Barigalust Lika. Sunt la Hi, Barev. My name is uh, Tigran or Svenerik. I'm a Norwegian who happens to be in love with Armenia and the Armenian people and the Armenian Republic and the country and the culture and the wine and the food and everything Armenian. Uh, I fell in love with Armenia uh, a couple of years ago and that resulted in this book that you can see here uh, which is called Hayastan, Why I Love Armenia. The only um, version I have right now is the Norwegian one because the English one is so fresh that I haven't even gotten one myself but I'm waiting uh, for a um, for an envelope in the mail, so maybe next week I will get my own book in English. Uh, but I wanted to show you something that I've done because uh, since I love Armenia, it is it's very natural for me to have an Armenian garden. So uh, here in Norway, I created probably the only Armenian garden in Norway. This is kind of the signpost that welcomes people to Pokerayastan, Little Armenia, and is covered by Armenian grapes or vines and they thrive very very well in Norway as you can see and I'll take you on a small tour uh, you can see Ararat right here uh, I created I got this friend of mine an artist to create a replica of Mount Ararat because no Armenian garden would be complete without the beautiful Ararat mountain now in front here I have some seeds taken from Armenia with some typical mountain flowers, but they haven't yet sprung, but they are coming along here. I have a khachkar, as you can see right here. Beautiful khachkar from Armenia. And of course, the yaraguin, made of flowers. And um, since I'm my name in Armenian is Tigran Lan, of course, it would be natural to have a small vanalich with a vanagapu in front of it and the Armenian Artsiv and more Armenian vines some of them are actually Arini vines and Pendak trees a couple of them that also thrive and one Tsiraner which actually also thrives here in Norway so I'm very proud of this and lately I also created a tiny 
Artsakh because uh, an artist from Armenia gave me this fantastic replica of Papik Tatik. And, and of course that means I that meant I had to create a pocket Artsakh as well. Okay, now so now you've seen my <coughs> masterpiece here in Norway that every day reminds me of Armenia. Now I'd like to talk to you a little bit about my book and I Thank you.